you need a VPN, especially if you want to avoid KYC, if you're using decentralized exchanges, if you don't want to be tracked, if you want to be on a secure network, you need a VPN or a virtual private network. Now there are plenty of VPNs to choose from. There's always a promotion from another YouTuber. This video is not sponsored. And what I'm using is TorGuard. Now you don't have to use any of my links. I'd appreciate it, of course. But I am using TorGuard and it is a more premium service because I am using a dedicated IP address for them. If you have a dedicated IP address, you can whitelist that address and you're the only person who has access to use it. So if you use your VPN from anywhere in the world, from any connection, you still have that exact same IP address, which is very awesome if you're connecting to crypto exchanges, crypto wallets, you just have a very secure connection to the internet. Additionally, if you wanna use Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus from anywhere in the world, you can do that too. That's an additional benefit that I like to use. I like to check out Netflix from around the world because you do have different content available depending on where you are due to like regional licensing. Let's take a quick look. There's NordVPN, which is like 742 a month. There's ExpressVPN, which is like 832 a month. Then there's TorGuard, which is like $20 a month. But there is a difference. This is for their streaming bundle and you get two IP addresses. Now, the cool thing is they have IP addresses available in the US, UK, France, Germany, Spain, and Japan. If you want to avoid KYC, there are restrictions in Europe. I would select Japan and you get two addresses. So if you're a US user, I'd pick a US address and a Japanese address. And technically you'd own a little digital part of Japan. Now, once again, this is outrageously expensive. I don't think you should do this unless you absolutely need to. And if you do, I do recommend only signing up for one month. And if it works well for you, switching over to the annual package. That's actually exactly what I did. I signed up in March of 2020 and I paid the one month package to see if the VPN worked well for what I needed. It did. So I switched over to the yearly package. And then for my new renewal, I used promo code FBD, which gets me 50% off. So if you want to hack that annual price, I would recommend getting the monthly package using the promo code and then switching to the annual package. Now, I don't necessarily know if that's actually going to bring that to $60 per year or you have to have the service for a year, then you can use the promo code. Uh, the promo code is only good for your recurring subscription. And uh, if you go through the process of buying a month and then switching to the annual, you might be eligible but that's not automated. You actually have to contact support to let them know that you want to switch from the monthly to the annual while also giving them the promo code. Uh, no guarantees on full value there. I'm just saying that's what I'm using. And within TorGuard, you can select from a bunch of different countries. I have my dedicated IP addresses at the top here, which obviously I'm not going to share, but you can switch between many different countries. Now you don't necessarily need a dedicated IP address. For myself, I have the dedicated IP address package because I want to have that extra security and I also want to stream Hulu, Netflix, Disney from different parts of the world without getting flagged. Now if you use a shared VPN service like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, there are multiple users using that IP address and those get flagged by streaming service providers. And if you're doing any crypto trading, you don't want to whitelist that address because it's a shared address. Additionally, you'll want to get this GLINet router, which is about 20 bucks, and you can connect to the VPN service. You'd be able to generate a config file with TorGuard that you can upload to this GLINet router, and you'll always be connected to that dedicated IP address or any of their other v shared VPN servers. The setup process is on the advanced side. If you're not that technical, it will be a challenge. I highly suggest contacting support if you need help. Uh, yeah, not Dan. Dan had trouble too. I had to contact support because when you get the dedicated IP address from TorGuard, you actually have to set that up with support. You actually have to check out the speeds to make sure it's usable because 
Yeah, they don't check the speeds for you. You have to make sure it's a usable speed, at least five megabits per second, so you can stream something if you need to. Otherwise, you might get a very slow connection and you wanna verify that. So the customer support is really awesome. And this video isn't sponsored. It is something I've been using. Before that, I was using shared VPN services, but for my purposes of wanting to stream things internationally, that wasn't working. I was using private internet access, VPN Unlimited, ExpressVPN, or some other ones. Uh, but it depends on your situation, what you want to use it for. But if you want to avoid KYC, I recommend getting a VPN, any of them. It's up to you, but for myself, I use TorGuard, I have a dedicated IP address, and I have my IP address whitelisted. With the router, you're gonna have an additional network connection at home, which is what you want. Basically, with the GLINet mini router, you can connect that to your current router, giving you an additional Wi-Fi connection. The mini router gets its internet connection from your current router, and then rebroadcasts that signal using the VPN if you set it up correctly using the open VPN config file. It gets very confusing, and the setup instructions are in the video description, so check that out for more details. But what I really want to explain is, if you set this up properly, you don't have to have any software on any of your devices, your phone, tablet, laptops, they can just connect to your second Wi-Fi connection. And I do recommend naming your Wi-Fi something inconspicuous, like HP Inkjet Printer US, Samsung Fridge JP975, Google Home Mini UK 753, pretty much any name that doesn't look like it's a router, just so people don't try to connect to that device and you don't get hacked. Uh, if you ever check out the books by Kevin Mitnick, The Art of Deception and The Art of Invisibility, he has a lot of practical tips to keep you safe in the internet world. Cause yeah, the internet is very dangerous and you want as much security as possible. Those books actually taught me a lot and I, I don't like uh, shilling, but yes, you can get that book for free on Audible. There's always a free book promotion. Even if you've had Audible before, just check it out. I have links, obviously they're gonna be affiliate links just cause I like money being 100% honest here, but those books will help you learn more about internet security and you get those books for free. Now, the thing is with Audible, you get that book for free right off the bat. You have to give them your credit card number. After you download that book and get it for free, it's gonna be in your Audible library. Once you have it in your library, you can cancel Audible and not get charged anything else. Yes, five minutes after signing up, downloading that book, you can cancel your subscription. I still get a cut, you don't pay anything, and your subscription is canceled. It's that easy. And that's how you get full value from the signer promotions and how you get free knowledge. Now, uh, I used to get a lot of free books from Audible because those free book promotions were really one per email address. I don't know if you can do that anymore, uh, but you're free to try. Let's say you do choose to get the VPN through TorGuard, you can pay with Litecoin. I highly suggest using anonymous details. You don't have to give any personal details to TorGuard. They're cool like that. And you can pay with Bitcoin or Litecoin. I highly suggest Litecoin because the Bitcoin network fees are very high and you're gonna be responsible for the Bitcoin withdrawal fee and then you pay. With Litecoin, it's typically free or like 20 cents on most exchanges. And why do you want to pay for TorGuard anonymously? Because you don't want any connection with you and your IP address. If you wanna stay very anonymous online, you want to have an anonymous connection. And if you are paying for that connection, you don't want them to know who's paying for that connection. Now, TorGuard is very cool like that. Uh, it's not illegal at least as of yet. So uh, it's up to you if you'd like to use this service. Now, if this video has been helpful, I'd appreciate it if you like it. Check out the description for more details. If you want to use any of my links, I would appreciate that. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.